Hi everyone, Dennis Foley from Acoustic Fields. Today we're going to talk about what are standing waves in rooms. We get a lot of customers asking us uh, what are standing waves and uh, the easiest answer is a wave that stands around. Well, <laughs> that's not really a good definition when it comes to acoustics. So what is a standing wave? It's called a standing wave because it's really not standing, but it's in a position in your room. It's a pressure area. And it's a result of pressure, low frequency pressure, not fitting in your room. Let's take an example. We have a room that's 18 foot long. And we want to put a 30 hertz wave into that room. How long is the 30 hertz wave? Well, we know it's 37 feet approximately. We have an 18 foot room. How does a 37 foot wave fit in an 18 foot room? It doesn't. So the excess energy you want to, so if you want to subtract 18 from that and you get 19 feet, where does it go? Well, some of it goes back into the room, is reflected, some goes through the room, some stays at the boundary surface and accumulates. And that's where you get standing waves. <clears throat> think of it, <clears throat> sorry, think of a standing wave as the loud guy at the bar. The guy who's really been drinking too much and he's really loud and the volume of his voice stands out amongst everybody else, that's a standing wave. That, that's an area of high pressure within the room that's louder than the average people in the room speaking. So it's an area of pressure that we're, we don't want. The pressure areas are usually along our boundary surfaces here, but we also have the pressure areas throughout the room itself. And the advantages of all that, or disadvantages of all that, if your listening position is in one of those pressure areas, or your speakers are in one of those pressure areas, then you have speaker and pressure. Then you have listening position and pressure. That's not what we want. We don't want any pressure reflected in our speakers or our listening position. So a standing wave is an area of pressure usually found in the room center. It has a width, height, and a depth to it. And it also has a frequency of resonance. So this 30 cycle wave that we use as our example will create energy pressure areas within the room that are fundamentals with a fundamental of 30 and the harmonic on top of it. So they're very powerful. So depending on the dimension and the volume of the room, they can be plus 10, plus 15, plus 20 dB in some situations. So what are standing waves in rooms? High pressure areas, low pressure areas, Pressure areas where low frequency energy will simply not fit, and it expresses its uh, discomfort, if you will, with, with the dimensions it has to fit in by creating resonances. I hope Thank you me. enjoyed today's video. If you did, give me a thumbs up so I know that it had value to you. And please, if you have any questions, leave them in the comment section, and I'll be more than happy to answer them for you. Alternatively, if there are other topics that you wish to discuss, discuss or see discussed in a video presentation, send me a, an email, info at acousticfields.com, and uh, we'll get them on our list and, and get them done for you. I release a new uh, video about every week, so stay tuned to our YouTube channel and keep uh, updated on our new videos.